In this video I would like to talk about the transaction cost theory. So to begin with, let's define what are the transaction costs. So those are going to be or those are going to occur when we have some exchange. So we have exchange. And we can have this exchange in the environment which is surrounding the company. So you can imagine there is a exchange of materials or some money flow between the companies. And, and there are some transaction costs occur. You have to make some agreement and you have to travel. But these, these uh, costs can occur also inside of the company. So inside of the company. Because this exchange is not uh, just about making an agreement. It is also about some monitoring. So monitoring of these exchanges. Monitoring. So, the transaction cost theory will tell us that the company should focus, focus on minimizing, on minimizing of these costs, of transaction costs. And now we will, I will introduce you some, some uh, important sources of uh, uh, costs and where the company should try to cut these. So the sources, so sources of transaction costs. And these, I think, are going to be quite intuitive and I will introduce you three ideas. And the very first of them is going to be environmental uncertainty. So environmental uncertainty. And here you see I, I'm talking about the environment, so about this very first part, so environmental uncertainty. So just imagine uh, two companies are, are uh, going to do a business, so here I have my first company, my second company, and then there is some, some environment which is surrounding them. And this you can imagine also as a manager, so two managers are going to make a business between the companies, but let's say this manager knows just or, or it's, a, it's a natural that we cannot know all the information about the environment that is surrounding us. So this manager knows what is surrounding his company. So his knowledge is right until maybe here. And then the second manager knows a lot about his company and what's surrounding him. So maybe just until here. So you can see that neither of them knows all the information that is necessary to know about the environment so that they are uncertain now and here you see the word uncertain so what what will they do then they will try to be more formal so they will try to be more formal in making agreements in making agreements and this is costly because uh, you have to make uh, much more in details uh, these agreements and that costs you time and money so that you have to make some monitoring or the governing of these agreements. And if, if a company is able to, to lower actually this, this formality and develop maybe some reputation-based agreements, they can save money this way. So the second point we are going to talk about is going to be the opportunism. So opportunism. Or it is sometimes also called the small numbers. Small numbers. So again, let's imagine a, a very big company which is very successful. So this company which is very big and here is some some small supplier or or small two suppliers and they are they are inevitable they are making some very important in inputs for for this company so that the company has to take or has to trade with them and now so these are the producers so producers and now what is opportunism? Well, in, in most of the cases of our life we behave very honestly and reputably, but sometimes even, even in a private life we uh, try to choose some, some extent in which we exploit the environment. So exploit, exploit environment. 
and what what can happen in this our situation so let's imagine that these two producers decide to exploit the the fact that this company has only these two suppliers and that they cannot switch so cannot switch and they decide and, and now now the input cost or their products cost ten dollar each so for ten dollars and now they decide okay we, we are going to say we will not sell you these products even though they are not worth more than ten dollars we will not sell those to you for less than twenty dollars so the new price is going to be twenty dollars and this is opportunism because they try to exploit the environment they try to exploit the situation that the company has no other choice so this is very costly uh, for this large company and they should try to solve this situation somehow they could either overtake these companies or or they may try to set up a new companies that will be their producers and there are many ways how to solve it but the, always the small number or small numbers of suppliers can be very dangerous and costly and uh, the last point we are going to talk about is going to be the risk and specific assets so risk and specific assets so that now let's let's imagine uh, uh, two companies again so here I have company A here I have company B and now the company A has got a great idea so here is the idea of, of making some technological breakthrough and now B would be very interesting in buying uh, the products stemming they let's say they have got a new way how to make cars so a company B would like to buy these cars but but company A doesn't have enough money to set up uh, the production line for these cars so they would ask company B okay you can be our our unique or our only buyer so you will be our only buyer but you have to invest 100 million dollars so 100 million dollars and this is this is specific asset because the company B I will change the color so that uh, the company B uh, will be locked into this this uh, investment so company will be locked will be locked because you can see the situation they will invest in them and these guys are going to have the idea they are going to have the production line and maybe if the agreement falls they can sell their products to many other companies but this company will have nothing they will just have the agreement of, of buying the cars so this is also very risky for them what if the idea doesn't work out well we are again locked to this investment and we do not really like this so these were the free transaction costs which occur for the companies and we have also talked about that the focus of this theory is to minimize these transaction costs and in the next videos we are going to show you some strategies how the company should handle these so hopefully see you there transaction 